Hello people and um, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, this time I'm going to play along with the mission inspiration again and this is the one for December 2016. Uh, first I gessoed my page because it uh, had a photo on it and it was a bit glossy so I used the heavy gesso from Art Basics uh, Fina Bear and apply two coats of that uh, on the background. Then the first step of the mission says cover your page with book page fragments. And because I am um, thinking of creating some baubles on this page, I thought to cut out circle book page fragments from an old book and I'm gluing them down with a Mod Podge. Step 2 says add a thin layer of paint or gesso. Now already gessoed my page, I know, but because it had to have a thin layer on top of this as well, I used again uh, a gesso, but this is the standard gesso, normal gesso, not the heavy gesso. Step 3 apply texture paste through a stencil. And I use this stencil by Craft Emotions, the fantasy circles and the liquid text modeling paste. And I'm adding uh, a few of the circles onto my page. Step 4. Spritz with ink or color. I just recently bought a few colors of the liquid text uh, acrylic ink and I'm using a yellow one here, adding a few drops to my page and then spraying with water and as you can see it nicely runs into the fantasy circles I put on uh, earlier with the modeling page paste, sorry, and to add a bit more uh, paint I'm adding a white acrylic spray paint. Then step five is add pattern paper shapes and I'm using here uh, the vintage collection uh, mix and match by Craft Sensations. For Dutch people, I bought this uh, at Action. Uh, they have very, very nice scrapbook paper. So I'm cutting out some circles and gluing them down with a Mod Podge onto my page. And this is the base for my baubles. And then step six, add journaling or scribbles. And this is a Posca marker, a very thin one. And I'm adding some lines which uh, are uh, supposed to be the threads of the bubbles. And I'm outlining the circles. I actually had uh, the chance to do a test run for this page because last weekend my dear friend Janine came over from Assen. Assen is in the north of the Netherlands and I live in the south of the Netherlands so that's about a two and a half hour drive so when she comes over she always stays a few days and that's great fun she also is into the 
our journaling and mixed media thing so we got to play a little my um, kitchen table looked like there was a bomb exploded but we had great fun and uh, we did a few uh, of the challenges the mission inspiration and the picket stick we did a few morsels so I actually got to play uh, a little for this challenge and had an idea of where I was going to um, number seven add a festive focal image or two and I am building up my baubles with a few different things. Um, I cut out some circles from a, a white cotton fabric, very thin, as uh, to put on uh, on top of the paper. And I had some decoration material lace, some butterflies and some flowers, and I wanted to use that for the bubbles as well. And this is some string, some rope string I had and I'm um, adding some uh, outlining for the baubles and also the strings and I tried to glue it down with Mod Podge that didn't work all that well so uh, in a bit I'm going to use the gel medium which is a very strong glue it works very well but it takes a bit uh, before it grabs onto the paper so it was uh, quite a bit of fiddling around and it came loose so I had to put on some heavy pots on there to make it grab and stick well to the page And as you can see that worked so now I am adding the string for the little bobble as well and that needs to dry for a bit because I had glue on my fingers and I pulled it off every time so now I'm adding the floral lace bits to the bobbles and also using the gel medium for that And then the next step is apply a little bling or sparkle and I have a few things pulled out to use and that are some shiny gems and the gold stickles from Ranger and I'm gluing uh, them down with a Mod Podge which I also keep in this little soft bottle and these are a adhesive stickers blingy stickers and I am putting up some of the smallest ones And then using the stickles to outline the lace floral. So for those of you who don't know about the mission inspirations, this is a great challenge. Um, started in January 2016 uh, by Mike Deacon. He also set up a Facebook group and he gives you 10 prompts every month to work with on your art journal page or your mixed media piece. And um, yeah, you can play along if you like. It's great fun. Um, I will leave you some links in the description box so you can check out the Facebook group and see what others have done with this challenge. And uh, if you like, you can. 
I just put in a request and someone will approve you and you can play along. So hope to see you there. And step nine says add a title or quote. And I just simply say Merry Christmas. But I used um, a piece of scrap paper, which was uh, a piece of the spiral part, which uh, goes in the spiral of a notepad book thing. And I use that part and I use some rub on letters to make Merry Christmas. So now I'm deciding where to put this on my page. And I'm using a Mod Podge to glue that down. And then step 10 finish with the border of your choice. And I do as I mostly always do, is just inking the edges with a black Stazon ink pad. Because I think that looks the nicest. And because of the part on the spiral I can't reach with the uh, ink, I use a charcoal pencil to create a border there and smudging it with my finger. And then my mission is accomplished. But as always, I like to add some splatter, so I try to use the gold acrylic paint by Artiste for that, watering it down and then using a little brush to splatter some, but that didn't show very well, so uh, eventually I use a black acrylic paint to do that. Well guys, uh, this is it for me uh, for this page. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe, comment, like. Um, that would help for people to find me on Facebook uh, or sorry, YouTube. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.